My club is bigger. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans project. Tail Club! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, we have that very G1-esque 80s box style going on with the very G1-esque artwork. Yo, Dickerous, Strangers to Robot Soldier, Retro Future, Glacial Lord, Tail Club. On the side of the box we have Tail Club. On the other side of the box we have Tail Club. Up top we have Tail Club. On the bottom, warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And on the back, we have the silhouette there of the full-on combiner. Five soldiers combined to form the giant robot Glacial Lord. Robot soldier changes to giant robot limb. And of course, throughout the box, you have the, uh, the faux boxware and all that cool stuff. And that's basically it for the packaging. And the little robot itself comes on its own blister card. Again, with that kind of faux wear and tear on it. You got a tail club on the back. Warning again. And there you have that. And of course, you get your sticker sheets and you also get the very kind of g1e instruction manual there and there you go then moving right along here we have a tail club the next component of the most wildest combat team in the universe the combiner glacial lord so first, let us take a look at the uh, Dodicarus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know, but <laughs> let's take a look at this this thing, this thing right here. <laughs> uh, we're getting close here, so we can take a look at details. You got some nice, like a teal there for the eyes. Got some orange, gray, and some red. And of course, you have some sticker detailing there. Sticker detailing on the head, on the neck. Again. Not a whole lot to speak of as far as detail goes, but hey, it's supposed to be like, you know, a G1 toy, so hey, it works perfectly. A sticker there on the tail, big old club tail. And yeah, and there is the top, there is the bottom. He slides as things like this do. They probably don't, but anyway. Um, articulation wise, the head can look up, it can look down. You can kind of use that neck joint there, but then you'll kind of undo this top part there, so eh, you might not want to do that. Uh, the front legs can rotate, uh, the hind legs can't do anything, they're just locked in place. And the tail can't do anything either. This part can rotate, you can twist that. I don't know, hey, the thing that moves if you want it to move, so. There you have that. And for comparison, as always, here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. Just so you can see how that works out. And here he is with his buddies Fangro and Razor Spike. So we can see how the team is shaping up. So there you go. So now let's talk about Tail Club himself. A little Mini robot, we're getting close here so we can take a look at the details. You got some nice metallic blue there for the visor. You got some orange on the chest for his like belt buckle, orange legs, and again, very simplistic in his design. A little sticker detailing there on the back of his legs. And articulation wise, arms can rotate, the legs do move independently of each other. They can move forward, they can only move back a little bit, and the knee joint only bends forward for transformation. And uh, for comparison, here it is with a uh, G1 Headmaster. So you can see how that works out. And uh, here it is with a Titan Master. Again, just so you can kind of get a sense of the scale of these. And here he is with his buddies, Fangro and Razor Spike. Just so you can see the little robots together there. And of course, you can. Take Tail Club here, there's an opening right up top, you can just drop them right down, boop, and get a little rider action going on there, which is always cool. So that is basically it for the beast mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? Hey, hey, hey come back here, man. So let's remove Tail Club, put him off to the side, and what we're going to do here is we're going to remove this back section here, put that off to the side, we're going to rip off the tail, put that off to the side, and rip off the head and put that off to the side. So here we have what is left. 
So what we do here, we take the next section and this just gets folded back. The legs untab from the sides here and just fold down to straighten out. Untab, fold down, straighten out. You can leave them untabbed if you want to. If you actually want that little bit of extra movement in the legs, not that it really matters too much, but hey, if you guys want to have that going on, you can, but you can also just tab the legs together like so. And you just bring these arms down and you flip back these little feet to bring out his robot mode hands. And bring that down. They've got his little hands. And there we go. And now he needs a head. And we bring in tail club here. And we just fold his legs up. Like so. And that drops down into the body. And, oops. Make sure the legs are straightened out. And there you go. There you have tail club in his robot mode. And just like the others, a very G1-y styled body here. Just blocky and boxy and bulky and all that good stuff. Let's get in close here. Well, again, we can take a look at that head. And there's a chest piece there. You just gotta get that lined up a little better. And there we go. Those gold stickers there. His little hands. His little stubby arms. That's definitely a G1 trait right there. Little stubby arms. And legs. His big old feet. Got stickers there for the feet. And more at the back. Not a whole lot to talk about. Got some sticker detailing back there. There you go. Now articulation wise, the arms can rotate. He does have an elbow joint, I guess. Yeah, that does count as an elbow. You know, say so hey, he has elbow joints. Yay! The legs, if you want to, like I said before, you can't split this. You have some outward movement on the legs, so you can do the full splits. And that's pretty much it. You can break his legs. You can do that too if you want to. Other than that, that is pretty much it right there. And of course we can arm him up. We can give him this section here. And the underside you can see he has a big sticker in there. But we can place this in his shoulder like a shield. Or there's another way you can hold this also. There is a uh, little square port right here. And you can plug his fist right into it. So you can hold a shield like that also. Which is pretty cool. So you have a little bit of variety there. You have options. There's always options. We're good. But me personally, I just leave it on his shoulder. So it's just kind of out of the way there. And we bring in the tail and the head. And what you do here is you flip this back. And this will just peg in right here. Like so. And then you come here and you flip out this little spike there. And this just plugs into his hand like that. And there you go. He has a giant club now. <laughs> That's just... That's just overcompensating, but hey, hey, it's a thing you can do if you want to do it. So, there you have that. And now for comparison, here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. Here he is with G1 Swindle. He's just my go-to for the set here for comparisons, but again, you know. Just to give you a sense of the kind of style they're going for here with these. And of course, here he is with his mates, the Glacial Bots here. Again, we can see how the team is shaping up, and they look quite nice together, so. Oh, and in case somebody's wondering, I'm actually amazed nobody has asked this question, but uh, yes, you can, if you want to, you can totally, you know, swap these pieces around. Oh. <laughs> That the headpiece is the only thing keeping him up. Anyway, yes, you can totally swap the, the heads around if you want to. They're totally cross compatible with each other, obviously. But hey, but anywho, there you go. Fun, fun to be had. So there you go. So now the last thing to show off here is the combined mode. Now, I was planning to save this bit of information for the finale, but a bunch of people were asking in the last review, so I guess now I have to spoil my own review, so I'll just get this information now. Yes, these guys are compatible with your G1 combiners. You can take these and plug these onto your G1 combiner bots, and vice versa. Yes, they are cross-compatible with your G1 combiner. So there you go. There you have the information way before I was planning on giving it to you, but oh well. It is what it is, but... um. 
<laughs> Let's get down to two combined mounts. We just want to remove the shield, remove this. We will need the uh, the head here, so just pop this off. Just fold this back down. This will be part of the combined mode gun, so we'll just put this off to the side. We don't need that now. So all we have to do here is just flip up his little arms and just bring those down. Flip that up, bring that down, and the legs are just going to slide up into the body like so. Then we can just flip this down, and again, you can leave these guys attached in beast mode. It really doesn't affect anything. So if you never want to take them out, you don't have to. So you just put the head back on, and what we're going to do is we're going to just take this whole assembly here and just rotate it around and just break this up. Rotate, 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 clickety clackety, and just bring that head down like so. And then we bring in the foot that just plugs right into the bottom. And there you have Tail Club in leg mode. And yep, that's a leg with a big old foot. Hooray for legs with big old feet. There you go. So, <laughs> there you go. So there you have a Tail Club. And, you know, again, I love these. I love the idea of these. I love the execution. I love that these are basically, you know, new G1 figures, which is a weird thing to say, even though this is an old set, the set came out in 2013, but still, you know, they feel like new G1 figures, which again, is a weird thing to say, but it is what it is. But yeah, this set speaks to me. It speaks to the, the child of the 80s that I was. So yeah, I'm really digging this. So there uh, you go. Now I pick these up from TF Source. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Glacial Lord playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. Don't forget to check out M Games. check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Fans Project Tail Club, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! Reporting for duty, Mr. Prime. Oh, hey, watch it with that thing. You're gonna put somebody's eye out. Anyway, I guess you're another one of those exchange students, so, um, you help me find something? I, I seem to have misplaced my phase inducer. Uh, I, I don't know if I saw him, Mr. Prime. Maybe it's over here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's over here. Oh! oh! I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Prime. I, I am so sorry. Oh, no! Okay, oh, no. So sorry, Mr. Prime. I'm so sorry. No, that... That second one was my fault. That was all on me. Okay, listen, can you just... Can you just go somewhere else before I kill you? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, Mr. Prime. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Prime. Oh. Whose idea was it to bring in exchange students anyway? Oh.